Hey, what's up, guys? Electra here. Welcome back to Construction Sim 2015 and part two of this small house build. In the last episode, we uh, did a little bit of an introduction because I've been away for about uh, eight months and we eased ourselves back into the game with a small house build. This is going to be part two. Hopefully, the episode is probably going to run to around about 30 minutes and we are going to do the last few bits of that house build. If we get that done before the 30 minutes then I am going to go and have a look at the vehicle dealer and we are probably going to go and buy a new truck. Uh, there's been a couple of DLCs that have come out whilst I've been away and I have purchased those and it would be good to have a look at them in the next episode. So without further ado let's crack on. Uh, and what else do we need to do for our house build? I think we needed to go back to the materials trader yeah, we need to go and get some large bricks in clay. We then need to go to the sawmill and get some lumber spruce and more tiles and insulation material from the materials trader. So I'm going to probably do all of the, actually I will, I'm going to do all of those three in one uh, because we have the large flat bled. Flat bled? Come on, Electro, get your, uh, get your tongue in gear. We've got the large flat bed trailer. That's better. Um, just making sure we haven't missed anything uh, that we could be doing in terms of special jobs. Um, to be fair, I might look at doing one of these in the next episode. And you know what? Actually, I think we will. We've got uh, a warehouse with integrated office to do, uh, which looks like we involve the road roller. We get some rebar. Uh, some concrete pouring, we haven't done that in a while, clearly. Um, and some ceiling. What the hell's ceiling? It's not stuff that's above your head, is it? I'm assuming that's like a um, like a sealant. Uh, and some asphalt. Anyway, don't really know why I'm looking at that, because we already have a job, don't we? So, yeah, we've got to get bricks... Uh, roof tiles insulation material from the materials trader uh, we well we're gonna have to jump into the low boy truck which is probably still at the construction site yes it is well hang on a minute we need to go and move that mobile crane which is in the way uh, in fact I can probably park that one out on the road I didn't realise as well there was actually a space for the mobile crane in the... Oh, sorry, there was a space for the other crane, like one of the tower cranes, in the construction site itself. So we'll leave that there and let's jump back into the flatbed, try not to fall into the hole in the process. And we will go to... Ah, uh, the outriggers are down. Oh. Let's just pop those back up. And we are on the site, so we need our orange beacons on. You know what? The real challenge in this game, I suppose, is actually playing it properly without trying to hit stuff. I say trying to hit stuff, trying not to hit stuff. Um, and try not to go down bloody holes like that. Uh, I would actually like to get back into playing this game with my G27 wheel and pedals, but I don't know if you guys ever found on the audio, you can actually hear the... We are probably going to go into that hole and... Oh, no, we're out, we're out. We just hit the building instead. Uh, I can hear the um, the G27 making noise, and... I don't know if any of you guys actually have a G27 pedal and wheel set uh, with the gear stick. Then, if you do, is there any way that we can, I don't know, make it less noisy? It's quite a noisy, noisy wheel uh, setup. And, well, yeah, I, just, I don't really know what I can do to change that, if that makes sense. Uh, why am I sat at a green light? Ah, oh, it's gone red now. Um, I was daydreaming, sorry. Uh, yeah, so 
you guys know any tricks, tips about the G27 to try and make it less noisy, please let me know. What I might do is just turn the centering spring off um, and I think that will probably alleviate the noise. Um, because it does... Ah, we're going into the vehicle dealer. Moron. Uh, you just ignore this bit. We're cutting across the grass. Ignore it. it didn't happen. And we're back. Uh, yeah, so... Sorry about that. Yeah, I think maybe turning off the centering spring will maybe alleviate the problem. It does make the immersion on the game a little bit better. Um, and obviously you can use multiple controllers on this game now as well, so you miss the episode where we talk about that then um, have a look back uh, I might actually do a tutorial on setting them all up because you ultimately can use um, a couple of joysticks to use for the tracked vehicles which is actually pretty cool uh, let's turn those beacons off because they were glitching through the roof then look uh, right we need to go to the we need to go to the steel factory, but we need to go back towards the materials trader. And I think, because I've gone the wrong way, I'm not sure if I've ever been this way before. Uh, we probably have. It's been a fair while since uh, since we were playing this game. Uh, and Like I said in the last episode, I do apologise for that. I'm going to be back. Uh, there was kind of a reason for it, as I alluded to in the previous episode. And that was I was concentrating on other things, uh, which include other YouTube channels. I do apologise that uh, about that. I didn't want to neglect you guys, but um, the other channel for me was uh, was kind of important. I wanted to try and get it off the ground. It's not game related in any way, but it's uh, it's like a review channel, uh, and I was getting fairly good, um, not so much good ratings on YouTube. Uh, although to be fair, it probably earns me about as much as this channel with only about. 30 odd videos and that's because I think the adverts that are displayed on games generally don't earn you too much um, whereas uh, when you're when you're reviewing another item like I don't know whether I review like Bluetooth speakers and things like that, electronics tend to get you some fairly decent uh, decent revenue from adverts Uh, I think we need to go left here, don't we? Because we need to go back. No, we don't. I've gone the wrong way. Uh, is there anything around us? Oh no, materials traded downtown. Yeah, we do need to go back across the bridge. Yes, of course, because we haven't been across it yet. Uh, so, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, reviews. I was doing quite well. Not not so much in uh, in YouTube views, although it's doing okay. Uh, and uh, we've got 60 odd subscribers, I think. I think it was about that. Um, maybe not. Maybe it's not that high. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> to be fair, there's only really a couple of videos in that. Um, oh yeah, look, here we are. We've just pulled up at the materials trader. Uh, we yeah, only only really a couple of videos on that um, on that site, which are earning me that revenue. Uh, there's a fair few on there which literally do nothing, but um, that's part and parcel of YouTube, isn't it? There's a fair amount on this channel which literally earn me nothing, and uh, I think it's more that you need to stick at a particular game build up an audience which hopefully I'm doing with you guys and uh, stick to a theme really so my other channel is as I say about uh, reviews and uh, primarily Amazon sort of reviews there we go drop the sides down um, and yeah whilst I wasn't doing too bad on the YouTube side um, I say too bad. I'm nowhere near uh, where I want to be. Uh, however, uh, we'll come back to that. Keep that thought. So what do we need? We need four clay bricks. Uh, we also are going to have to buy two big red roof tiles and two insulation materials. 
So we shall get those from our dealer. All right, mate. You got any? Uh, you got any roof tiles? Sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Uh, roof tiles. Big red roof tiles. We needed two of those. And we need insulation material. Two of those. Brilliant. So are they all over here? We have got... Oh yeah, so what do we need? We needed clay bricks, four of those, two roof tiles, and two of the insulation material. Yes, so we're good. Six in total. Well done, Electro, you can do maths. Are you smarter than a, I don't know, primary school pupil? Probably not. <laughs> right, let's try and get this pallet lined up. Oh, that's heavy. The back almost came up then. Whoa. Uh, so yeah, as I say, I was doing quite well on the on the Amazon side, and believe it or not, um, <laughs> before Amazon changed the rules, we'll talk about that in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, I was earning a. I say earning. I was, I was being able to get free products um, from from uh, suppliers, mainly from China. Well, that didn't work. Uh, no. I'll do. Uh, yeah, I was mainly getting free products, free or uh, or heavily, heavily discounted. So I'm talking sort of like ninety nine percent off uh, from these suppliers mainly from China uh, and then I was uh, getting those in return for me to do a review uh, and that started out really well but then Amazon kind of changed the rules and worked out that if you were getting something heavily discounted then it probably wasn't an accurate review um, do you know what I, I can kind of agree with them on that you you kind of do feel pressured into into giving it a good review, I suppose, because you've been giving it for nearly free. Um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of what I got was utter crap, um, and it's the kind of stuff I wouldn't buy, but I did get a couple of really good things, um, one of which is still sat on my arm, and I got two of those, but it's uh, like a um, uh, a Bluetooth uh, pedometer, which has got a heart rate tracker in. Do you know what? A, a Fitbit Charge HR, I think it is, is sort of like 150 quid. 150 pounds in England. Um, what's that? Maybe 180 dollars. If that was the exchange rate, crap for us at the moment, I know, but probably cheaper for you guys in America to come over to England and buy stuff. Um, but it, it did the job, and the app wasn't too bad. I quite liked it, if I'm honest. Kind of monitors your heart rate throughout the the period that you're asleep and stuff, which. I don't know whether the, the the Fitbit charge and stuff does that or not, but I, I kind of liked it. Uh, so as I say, vast majority of the stuff I got, utter, utter shite. Um, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. I think I need to calibrate my... Um, Kind of about my Xbox controller because that was utter dog shite. Um, I haven't quite perfected the knack of picking these things up from the cockpit view because I just can't see the. Um, don't fall off, you fucking.
this thing needs it like I used to drive a forklift it needs the side sweeping thing on it oh, I'm stuck on that fucking post and there we go so I had it oh, this game can be super annoying at times see what I mean about calibrating my thing it's it's still going down the stupid bloody thing right I need to reset that Um, that's frustrated the hell out of me that is. Sorry about that. It gets caught on the trailer posts and I suppose I don't need to put it right next to it. I can spread the cargo out. Unfasten it, you piece of crap controller. See what I mean? It's just going down. I need to calibrate the sticks, I think. Leave it, leave it. It's not under it. It's in the fucking... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Just put it on the trailer. Okay, this is going to be loaded really badly. I might start bringing the mobile crane to the materials trailer to pick stuff up because this forklift does my head in. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, a lot of what I get was was rubbish. Uh, I'll say rubbish. It wasn't. It it just isn't the kind of stuff I would buy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not really the kind of stuff that I would buy normally. And... Yeah. I suppose I'm being too harsh. It's, yeah, it's just not the kind of stuff I would normally buy. So I don't really need to say much more than that. It's it, Some of it's been really handy. I've had a couple of, like, uh, sort of... Not so much IP cameras, but like video cameras um, that you can place around the house and stuff like a spy camera I haven't actually reviewed that one yet um, because Amazon changed their rules uh, as I say I was going to come back to that wasn't I they, they changed their rules probably about two two months ago um, which basically said if you if we think you've got some sort of relationship with the supplier then your review basically means nothing and we don't believe you so we're probably going to delete your review uh, which to be fair happened to probably about 20 of my reviews uh, which I feel really annoyed about because I didn't just do text reviews they were all video reviews and I can kind of agree with a text review you can't tell what the person really thinks of it uh, whereas in a in a video review you can because you can actually see them using it you can oh, what is going on isn't that the forks down flat enough um, yeah I think in a video review you can see a lot more so you can actually see that the person's using the product you can see Sometimes, obviously, if you've got their facial expressions, which mine didn't have in, um, you can see what they actually truly think of it because you're good at reading body language. Then there, there's, there's no really getting away from the fact that something's crap. If that kind of makes sense. Which I hope it does. Yeah, so if something's rubbish and they're they're trying to sell it to you because they think they need to and you can see their facial expressions, then chances are you're gonna pick up on that, aren't you? No, on.
We are shocking at loading this trailer today. Really, really bad. So, I mean, it's almost like I need to stand up in the thing to see how low the forks actually need to go. How low can you go? Uh, and I can't quite see that from in the cockpit. But I suppose this is a more realistic view. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that, that's kind of where I've been. I've uh, concentrating on that channel. Obviously, the, the Amazon thing happened, which meant that, yeah, that was kind of the end of... Not, not really the end of an era. I'm still concentrating on that channel. It's just, uh, it was kind of sapping all of my time because... Uh, I was a greedy bugger really and when someone wrote to me or well, emailed me and said hey we've got this fantastic Bluetooth pedometer heart rate thing uh, do you want it if you do a review I'm like well yeah of course because it's free I'm not going to turn it down am I I'm not an idiot um, and yeah before I knew it, I had 50 of these, not not 50 of these heart rate trackers, but 50 odd items coming through the door, sort of like over the space of two, maybe three, four, five, well, actually, how long was I away? I was away for eight months. And uh, I probably started concentrating on the channel properly after the, the first sort of couple of months because uh, I realised that the higher the ranking on Amazon you got on reviews, the... the... Uh, the more you got sent and I still get those those offers today but it's just not worth it I could put a load of effort into reviewing something chucking it up on Amazon and a week later the review's gone because Amazon deems it to be crap not the review so much but the the relationship and therefore is it a true and accurate reflection of what I actually think of the item probably not um, and I kind of learnt that lesson, really. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm back, baby. We're back. And um, why does that say detach? Is it all actually attached? That one doesn't look like it is. That one's got a strap over. Well, that one hasn't. But I'm assuming they're not going to move because of the mechanics of the game. So... Thank you, matey. We will put the sides back up and we'll make a move. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's kind of where I've been. I am back. Uh, we are going to carry on with Construction Sim 2015. This game is not going anywhere. Uh, I really, really hope they make a Construction Sim 2 for the PC. Uh, they have made one for uh, the mobile market and I think, do you know what, if I'm honest, I think Astrogen are probably going to be concentrating on the mobile market from now on, which would be a real shame, but um, you never know. I do hold out hope that uh, perhaps, perhaps they will actually do something uh, with construction sim. Right, actually, we need to have a quick look on our map and... Uh, we need to go to the sawmill. Uh, so where was the site? So it's over there. And there's a sawmill there. So we need to go up this way. Good. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping they do. Uh, we've probably got... What are we on now? This is 34, episode 34. I think some of the other big YouTubers on this game have got all the way up to sort of 80, 81. So I'm kind of expecting that. There's still a lot of life left in this game for us. Uh, and I hope you guys stick around for that. Uh, I know that some of the other YouTubers haven't really been playing it as much. And that's kind of because I think Astrogen are concentrating now on uh, maybe a sequel or their other games, which kind of leaves uh, this... Uh, not so much dead in the water, but it hasn't been updated, so uh, I'm probably going to be one of the only YouTubers, I think, uh, outside of the Russians, because there's a lot of Russians playing this game, or certainly what appear to me to be Russians. They're, they're, yeah, they look like Russian language 
Uh, some French as well that play the game. Um, hopefully one of the only sort of English commentators left. Uh, however, that being said, there's obviously not going to be anything brand new on here because if you have looked at uh, channels, um, I don't know, Arsenal Robert hasn't really been doing a lot recently. Um, Brad M73, Squirrels played at, at this a uh, few times on his live stream channel, which I think he created a new one, Squirrel Plus. Um, so only yeah, unless you're subscribed to them, then I'm probably going to be playing this uh, solo. That is unless I come across a decent YouTuber. I say decent. I'm I'm crap myself, so <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Just someone that uh, perhaps I can get along with. Uh, it's got a similar play style to mine, and um, we can we can team up and have a go at multiplayer, perhaps. Just wait for that guy to cross the road whilst we block the main carriageway. And we can head on to the sawmill. So yeah, that's, as I say, that's where I've been. Where's the channel going from now? Well, I, whilst I was away, I did make the decision. It was a conscious decision that actually I'm only going to stick to um, simulator games on this channel. So Electro Gamer UK from now on, from this day forward, will be purely simulator games okay uh, if we park here we drop the sides down and we'll have to detach the current cargo because we need to now look at uh, was it lumber spruce I think wasn't it we needed uh, wow we're up to 28 odd minutes already 2.4 meters yes lumber spruce 2.4 we need two of those which are there they are right at the back uh, I think actually we sold the forklift here, didn't we? Or gave it back. Yeah, I need the forklift again. The rental vehicles. Yes. There it is. So yeah, sim games only from now on on this channel. Uh, I have created two other channels and they're real. Well, I mean, there's no videos on them yet. I've got no subscribers, etc. So, as and when I have them sort of up and running, if you guys are interested in uh, one's going to be purely sort of like war games. Uh, so, if you're interested in those, uh, then you can subscribe to uh, General Ebuck. Uh, and we'll explain why Ebuck in a little while uh, on that channel. Uh, and if you like like the survival sort of games, uh, like um, I don't know, Astroneer, etc., then uh, by all means you can have a subscribe to eBuck, which is my other channel that I've created. Don't fall off. Push that back on if we can. Wow, this is an unholy, god awful mess. That's just fallen back, isn't it? Is that going to. I think maybe if I wang the sides up, that will probably be okay. Um, so, yeah, the, the e buck channel is literally just going to be a general sort of channel uh, around the, the other games I like to play. So, on this one, uh, I tried to do sort of Fallout 4 and. Uh, just cause three and it do you know what it just doesn't work in the mix it's a bit of a strange mix to do simulation games and then something else so yeah the way forward i think is to run a separate channel see how i get on and we will just concentrate on uh, well for the moment construction sim 2015 on this channel um some of the other games i do intend on playing i've got a shit ton of uh, simulation games in my steam account so 
I really want to get good at playing um, like Project Cars before the second one comes out because uh, unfortunately I am dog shite crap at uh, Project Cars and that is even with my G27 wheel and pedal set. Do you know what? It even almost makes it worse. Does that mean I'm a crap driver in... Probably. Um, stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, you know what? I think we might have just done that. That's, that is unholy. That is an unholy, shitty, horrible mess. Isn't it? Look at that. The one thing I've always done in these games, all the way up until now, or in in these um, these these videos, yeah, see that part of it's not loaded. Uh, the lumber spruce. Okay. Mm. Let's see what happens if I floor it. to do some remedial work here with the forklift. Yeah, we're definitely going to be over half an hour just messing around with this bloody load. Can I attach it now? No. I'm assuming that's the other side now that's messed up. Yes, it is. Uh, we need to be quite gentle with that side then. Uh, so yeah, grid. Uh, sorry, grid. Downloaded grid the other day. Sorry. Uh, we do have a couple of racing games, and I, I want to kind of give them a go. Yes, there we go. Look, I suppose I need to move that out of the way. Because it might rain, we'll stick it in the shed. Uh, yeah, I've got a few racing games. I want to get really good at grid, but uh, just, I just can't get the hang of it. It's, it's actually quite a hard game to play. Um, so we're having a look at that as well. Uh, Cattle and Crops comes out in March, I think it is. I've bought into the early access on Kickstarter on that, so I will definitely be playing that. It looks like a really, really good version of um, like Farming Sim. Haven't quite got Farming Sim 17 yet, 2017, but uh, that is on the horizon as well because that looks so much better than 15. Uh, we'll wait for that car because he's crossed the stop line. And then we'll head on back to the construction site. So yeah, farming sim uh, 17. Uh, do you know what? I might carry on with 15 for the moment, at least until cattle and crops comes out. Um, but on a modded map, I really want to play an English farm. I don't want to play like the American or Scandinavian stuff. And whilst I am interested in um, some of the logging work, uh, it's more the farming stuff that uh, kind of interests me at the moment. So. Really, really, really excited for cattle and crops to come out. We've hit that sign. Yeah, really, really excited for cattle and crops to be coming out because that looks pretty awesome. Like soil mechanics and everything. Wow. I might be hyping it up too much. I really don't know. So uh, you're going to have to keep watch on the channel. We will definitely be bashing the hell out of that game when it comes out. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be released in terms of the alpha or um, or if it's even going to be a beta actually but I think it's an alpha that's coming out on early access. I've elected for the Steam version so we should be able to play it through Steam. Uh, and as and when it does come live I will chuck a link up into the channel so that you guys can see what the game's all about. Uh, bus Sim and Fern Bus Simulator both want to give a go. Uh, haven't really done any OMSI 2, but that's uh, that's also on my wish list. So fair amount going on, which is why I think I needed to split the channels because uh, some of the other stuff was um, 
meaning uh, I could probably upload a video or two a day um, but that wasn't helpful because it was kind of kind of making the channel too general really so yeah a lot of exciting stuff coming up definitely so we're nearly there nearly at the construction site we shall head on <laughs> you notice that one of the comments I picked up previously on these videos was that I need to adhere to the rules of the road a bit more and uh, that's what I'm trying to do because after all this is a simulation game and therefore I need to simulate the hell out of it don't I yeah we're wedged on that flipping gate again you know what, I might unload this out on the road So yeah, I really, really, really hope they do make a second version of this game. I just, I just don't think they're going to. I think they're going to concentrate on. Let's put our orange beacons on, do things properly, health and safety, and all that crap. Is that going to touch the fence? Yes, I knew it was. So the first thing we need to get is the large clay bricks. Which actually were right at the front, weren't they? Well, we'll probably need to have a look at the hook camera for this because otherwise I'm not going to see. No, 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 no. Oh. Let's move that back in. No, it's going the wrong way, isn't it? Now, why do you need like a second person on these in real life? Because you can see literally nothing. There we go. Um, yeah. No wonder you need someone to guide you in, don't you? Otherwise, um, your work is horrendously crap. Uh, right, let's do this in real life. Cab view, always the way forward on these sorts of games, isn't it? Uh. Not going too far again. Right, we need to get those last two clay bricks. That's gone. We screwed it up. I think I've screwed up a long time ago, Electro. Right, and the last one. I think I can actually see the uh, the yellow ball now. There we go. Just 
just knock that other spruce over. Maybe they're not. I don't think they're bricks, are they? I think they might have been roof tiles. Um, I think these are the bricks. Just swing those round and hopefully that is part of that bit done. Yes. Okay. Crap, where did that other one go then? Get two lumber spruce. Right, we've just lost. We're going to have lost a roof tiles, aren't we? Or has it reset it somewhere? Oh, you bugger. You utter, utter bugger. It has. It's lost it. I knew I shouldn't have put it on the roof. That's happened to me once before, I think. Crap. Right, let's put this down. One. Where's that second spruce? There it is. Right, we need to have a look and see where that camera's gone. Move it over the top, making carefully sure that we don't twat the uh, that the gable end of that house and knock those bricks over. That would be an expensive error to make. Clear the construction area. Now we need the roof tiles. Um, So I can do one. Too far. We're going to need to go and get another, another um, thingy of roof tiles. Oh, that's, that's so annoying. Where the hell do they need to go? Ah, right, okay. Here we go. Careful, careful, careful. I don't want the foreman to have a go at us, although technically we are the foreman. Stop moving, stop moving. There's one. I'll tell you what, we'll get the insulation material on as well.
quickly have to nip back to the materials trailer to pick up some more roof tiles so it's going to cost us a probably a couple of thousand credits more than it needed to should have moved it before we messed around with that shouldn't we uh, right. can I be accurate enough to pick this one up from here yes just about However, and am I going to be accurate enough to be able to ping this in there yes right I'm going to have a very quick skirt around here and just double check they haven't been moved somewhere because sometimes they do I think that was that extra dirt that we kind of left lying around when we didn't need to in the last episode so we're learning new stuff again um, yeah do you know what I think it has it's taken it hasn't it um, let's have a look at what Big roof tiles red. Yes. Yes. So we've got a load of sewer elements as well. What are they doing here? On the wall primer. Now, does that mean I've then lost the... Bloody does as well, doesn't it? Right, let's... Let's reset both of those red roof tiles to the home depot and uh, let's fast travel there actually and we'll use the small truck to pick them up yeah look, there we go so the concrete buckets now sat on the wall primer we've got one thing of that Um, yeah, there they are. They're both there now. Um, right, let's get into the flatbed truck with a crane. We shall drive around there. Well, this episode is going to drag on for an hour now, I think. I wasn't expecting it to be that long, so. Bear with me guys, I might cut some of this out, um, I don't know, I probably will cut this bit out I think because this was a mistake, it wasn't supposed to happen. Right, so we're now back with uh, the small flatbed truck. I'm just going to pop that here. 
And actually, I just realised we hadn't actually fastened our cargo at all. Yeah, and it's fallen over. Right, so we can put the last two, the last two bits back on to the back onto the roof, and hopefully clear the site, and then we will be done. That will be episode 34 done and dusted, uh, and you guys can look forward to episode 35. Uh, we've run out of time really, so we're not going to go and have a look at the, the vehicle dealership today, but we will do that straight away on the next episode. Uh, so, one roof tile remaining. Just glitch through the wall there. We're out of time, so things like that don't really matter anymore, do they? They do. They're important. This is a simulation. But an arcadey one at that, let's say. It's certainly not a flight sim. Where, oh my god, you need to know absolutely everything about every switch. Which actually I'm looking forward to about cattle and crops because apparently that's a little bit what that is like, so. Hopefully a good old farming simulation with a bit more emphasis on the simulation than perhaps FS 15 and 17 had. Right, clear the construction area. Let's do that. Hopefully it will transform in front of our eyes. Jesus, we're right back at the site now. Uh, so how do we do? We've earned 41,400 from that and we got uh, 1,656 XP. All in all, a good job. Let's go and recover the other bits from the construction site. We can't fast travel with this one, I don't think. So actually, let's... Let's fast travel with this back to the site of the Home Depot. Yep. And then we can jump back into the low boy truck. And as always, we will have a quick look at what we've done. So this was a small house build, remember? Uh, this is the build which is a lovely brown sort of house made out of wood and some brick. We've got a veranda at the top there. Uh, what looks like a wooden shed at the back. Lovely little plot of land. It's a nice, nice amount of room there. It's good. Wouldn't mind a little house like that myself. Like a nice little four bed or something. Yeah, lovely. And we've got a little play area and a carport. She's got the car and the wood for the winter. Although it doesn't actually look like the gates open there, do they? It looks like a complete picket fence. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you have uh, understood the reason that I was away. However, I am back and I'm back with a vengeance. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, and uh, I will catch you next time. If you're not subscribed to the channel, remember to do that before you go. And we'll see you in episode 35 and we're going to go and across the road here and have a look at the vehicle dealership. Take care guys and bye for now.